Well, good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the Jamie Drone. 4K video, 23 minute flight time, voice interactive, two axis motorized gimbal, obstacle avoidance, weighs just 550 grams, fits in the palm of your hand, and retails at just under $500. Too good to be true? Let's find out. What we do here is go back, back, back. Okay, first and foremost, let me make it clear, I'm not a drone specialist in any way, shape or form. I love drones, I use drones. But until the Mavic came along, it was very frustrating for travelers like myself, who would go out, take their drone with them, take their camera equipment with them, and you just have so much gear with you. And obviously Mavic came along and changed that. But there's still a lot of people out there that are wary of drones, also want something a little bit smaller, and some people that just don't want to spend a thousand, twelve hundred dollars to own a drone when they're not really traveling a great deal or intended on using it that much. And that's the reason why I think that this type of drone really has a place in the market. You know, people don't always want to spend a lot of money. However, in the past, these sort of selfie drones have always had poor flight time, no exchangeable battery, and very poor quality video. And this is what excited me about the JME, because as I said in the intro, 4K video, 24 minute flight time or 23 minute flight time is really impressive. And with the other features in this, I think it could be a really, really good drone. It's got similar sort of specs to what we're all expecting from the DJI Spark. So let's take a look. Let's get this baby opened and see what's in the box. Okay, so there she is, the Jamie drone from FEMA Robotics. Palm sized. I have to comment on the packaging. The packaging is really superb, I have to say. Beautiful quality. I love the way that this box slides out here. You can see foam packed, really, really nicely put together. I certainly feel like I have a, a premium product here as far as the packaging is concerned. Before I go into the specifics of this drone, what's in the box, let me talk a little bit about the company who made this. FEMA Robotics, set up by two chief executives of Lenovo Group. Been working on UAVs for two or three years now, map tracking, GPS, that type of thing. But this is their first ever drone. I got to know about this company and this drone two or three months ago. It interested me. I really wanted to have a small selfie style drone that I could take wherever I wanted, not really have to worry too much about, you know, getting permits. In Bali you need permits, in Thailand you need permits. So I was looking for something that was small, I could travel with, I could throw it up in the air, hopefully get a couple of good shots. But I was looking for good quality. And what intrigued me was the quality that this drone seems to give. You know, 4K video, two access gimbal, that type of thing. In such a small drone, it's pretty impressive. FEMA Robotics sent me this one. They say it's the first English version, which is encouraging. It shows they're now looking to the Western market to promote and market this type of drone. So after contacting them, I said I was very interested. So they're kind enough to send me this drone. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, what was in the box, and then after this video we'll get used to the app to fly the thing, get used to it, and in subsequent videos we'll do some test footage as well. So in the box, as I say, really lovely packaging, um, obviously power cables, not too sure, sure what these are, have seen some other videos and I think they potentially are landing pads to sort of put on here to sort of save the, the, the battery as such but obviously we'll look into that in a little bit more detail four propellers mm, not the best quality but we'll see color coded so we'll try those a little bit later as well thing i'm impressed with detachable battery you can buy additional batteries 
23 minute flight time. So another one of these batteries and you've got up to almost an hour of flight. The thing that really got my eye on this drone, apart from its size and the 4 quality, uh, 4K quality, was the motorized gimbal. And there's the gimbal, very small camera. So we have the ultrasonic module here. We have two built-in speakers here, and I believe this would be the optical flow. So some good sensors on this, this little thing. As I say, I'm not a drone specialist. The key for me is to sort of try it out. Um, and specifications, I will list all the specifications in the description to give you guys a little bit of a better idea. I just wanted to do an unboxing today, really, to tell you a little bit more about the company. I have to say, so far, pretty impressed. Startup guide looks like it's in absolutely perfect English, which again is unusual sometimes from some of these Chinese companies. And this is one of the first English versions out there. Obviously details of how to use the app, how to collaborate the gimbal and the uh, drone when you first started out. Okay guys, so before I sign off on this video, let me give you a little bit more information as far as the specs are concerned with this. I've had to write them down, so excuse me for reading off my list. However, here goes. Size 169 millimeters by 169 millimeters. It weighs in total with the battery 550 grams. It has a 10 core 64 bit CPU, Helio X20 up to 2.6 gigahertz, uh, triple GPS positioning, two axis gimbal, 4K video, 13 megapixel camera, 23 minute flight time, which I particularly like and I hope that works, uh, optical flow, ultrasonic sensors, uh, 32 gig onboard storage. And three gigabyte of RAM and the lens field of view is approximately 76 degrees so guys that's pretty much the Jamie drone and um, from me today I believe it's actually pronounced Jimmy apologies if you thought it's been a bit of a boring video but I just wanted to do an unboxing initially to give you an idea of what's in the box a little bit about the company and the next video will be a lot more detailed I'll know a lot more about this drone, we'll get the thing up in the air and let's really put it through its paces. I want to go with the 4K video, looking on here and I'm not 100% sure but it does say 4K 20 frames per second which frankly I don't think would be usable but again we'll try that out. If it's 25 frames per second I think that could be usable, there's 1080 30 so I'll get a little bit more information, read up on the drone. This baby just arrived this morning and I wanted to put a video out there early for you guys. And please check back in about a week's time, two or three days time. And hopefully we'll have a lot more interesting facts and figures and examples of this drone and whether it is actually worth buying, whether it is a major competitor to the DJI Spark, if that is gonna be coming out shortly. And um, yeah, I appreciate you watching and see you next time.